Alrighty, so uh, we're very, very close to being done here. Um, maybe just a couple hours away or something like that, pretty close. Um, I, I have decided not to uh, uh, sand the inside like the outside. If you can look, you see right there, see how that's like, uh, like grayish. Um, I just don't like the way that looks. Um, and if you look in here, that, that, I mean, it's white, it's white, white, white. So, um, you know, I definitely want to make that pop and it's not like you're putting your hands inside the bowl all that much. Um, the one thing I was a, a little disappointed in myself about is that, um, it was, uh, designing the, uh, inside of the bowl, uh, before I started, uh, I probably could have taken a little bit more time and had a, a little bit better of a outcome here. Um, so what I did was I essentially just burrowed down, made a cylinder first, and then started shaping the outside and the, and the bottom there. Um, the, the issue that I ran into was that the, uh, t traditionally in, in a lot of bowls anyway, the, uh, the, the meetup between the side and the, and the bottom there, uh, is often the most difficult because you have to make this, uh, that, that smooth transition and it's, and it's not easy to do, um, you know, in the best of circumstances sometimes, uh, to have that, you know, nice little continuous curve. And because of that, uh, cylinder mistake, I, I ended up with this, uh, kind of sharp point about right here. And, uh, the, this curve is very nice. I love it. Um, it, you know, uh, but I really love it if it just continued on in that nice line down towards the bottom, as opposed to like stopping here and then kind of like, uh, being shallow towards the center here. Now, the reason that this happened was because, uh, when, uh, I was looking at the bottom, I was like, okay, well, I want to make sure that I have plenty of room, um, plenty of room to, uh, to go, uh, once I start doing the, uh, sidewalls, but, uh, I didn't, uh, plan on enough. Um, so I stopped probably right about there. Um, that's my final, uh, stopping point. Um, but I stopped doing, uh, hogging at the bottom about there. Um, but still did not, uh, did not, you know, integrate that perfectly right there. You know, I can be the first one to attest to that. Obviously I don't want to go into the walnut. I don't want to have like, oh, I spent all this time on a bunch of pencils and now I have, <laughs> now I have a, a big walnut hole in the bottom of it. Um, but so my main concern really, like I could probably take it a little bit further. Um, uh, I'm not really at risk of, um, of running into this on the sides. There's plenty of thickness here. Uh, but I am at risk of, of, uh, uh, running into it, uh, down, uh, on, on, on the center of the, of the walnut there. Um, and the, uh, part of the reason I'm stopping where I'm stopping is because, um, if you can tell, well, yeah, you can definitely tell. Um, but if you can see there, uh, you know, there's gaps in between the pencils. And if you look in the gaps, uh, at that resin, what you'll find are like, um, it's starting to get, uh, like a tiny bit chippy. Like you can, you can tell there's like itty bitty little bubbles, um, that are, that are, uh, that are there. Uh, and to me that indicates that I'm really getting close to like the bottom of the bottom, because if you look towards the top, there's like, I don't know if you can, yeah, see, see right there, there's those little holes there, those little bubbles. Um, that signifies to me that I, that I'm super close to the top. So I would imagine that bubbles also signify that I'm super close to the bottom. So anyway, um, I'm probably going to leave this nice and unfinished and, uh, I'll, uh, do a little bit more cleanup work with just the tool. Um, I can usually get a pretty decent, uh, uh, surface finish, uh, through, uh, shear scraping, um, so that, that's really the goal for today is to shear scrape the rest of this stuff, do the best you can, uh, and, um, and then flip it around, do the bottom, take it off the lathe, 
and ship it out. So, um, yeah, excited, and uh, I'll check back in just a few.